Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. So today we'll be talking about how we got into ECT, the requirements of what we're studying, what we're actually studying, and we'll be mentioning a few important dates for 2023 admissions. Yes, so if you're interested, stay tuned. everything that we're going to talk about so that we don't leave the important juicy stuff yeah so we're studying at uct university of cape town and we are doing a bsc bachelor of science in construction studies mm -hmm. and it's a three-year long degree mm -hmm. but you can extend it to your honors if you want to because in our degree they give you a choice in your third year right mm. yeah in your third year if you want to continue as a construction manager or you want to become a quantity surveyor yeah so yeah so in high school we did accounting pure math physics and life, life sciences. sciences those are the subjects we took but the requirements for e for any career in the epe epe meaning engineering and built environment. <laughs> yeah engineering and built environment it's pure maths and physics yeah pure maths ne? they yeah. don't take any maths lit yeah and for specifically for construction studies you have to the minimum requirements are 65 percent in pure maths mm. and 55 percent for physics but if you want a guaranteed approval it's better that you get 65 percent or above in pure math mm -hmm. and 65 percent or above in physics yeah so to the important dates i think it's going to be better if i just read them from their perspectives yeah 31 july it's when all the undergraduate applications close and for res applications you guys you have to apply for res yeah, yeah. especially if it's your first year Yo. you have to stay in res I highly recommend yeah, it. Yeah, because we don't stay at res and it's... It's a goish. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as nice as we thought it would be. Yeah. But yeah. So if you guys don't get any space in res, there's this YouTuber. We absolutely love her. We just recognized her. Mm -hmm. Her name Emily. is Emily. Yeah. She does like res tours and everything. I think we're going to leave her channel on the description box. So if you... Get the misfortune of not getting any space at res you can also apply at any uct accredited res yeah and the application fee for applying <laughs> <laughs> 100 rands if you are a south african citizen and 300 rands if you're inter an international student yes sir yeah yeah for like epe there's no NPT. <laughs> Okay, and I we wrote them because we didn't only apply at the EPE, we also applied for medicine. I don't know. What <laughs> medicine? I don't know what that faculty is called. What is it called? I don't know. Health the commerce science. and the commerce. Oh, and commerce. We also applied yeah. in the commerce. Health science and commerce. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's better for you guys to write the NPT because you might to change be, yeah. yeah if you want to venture into something else it'll be much easier so highly recommend that you write your npts mm -hmm. and what do we do oh the npts we wrote mm -hmm. to the aql and the maths yeah we wrote both of them. Mm -hmm. so our story about uct we did not get provisionally accepted because in grade 11 it was shy <laughs> in a nutshell it was not it was not going our way so we got our apps our acceptance letters in january yeah. yeah yeah january right after we got our results yeah so what they did since we didn't get provisionally accepted is that they would ask us to upload our mm. report cards like each term final results you don't have to worry about uploading them because you're going to get them automatically so you'll know whether you made it or you didn't make it yeah and if you want any tips on how to beg distinction 
even if it's just one destination we actually have a video uploaded you can go to our channel and check it out mm, we got your bags babies <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's it right yeah that is it for today <laughs> so yeah if like you get accepted into UCT and you notice us. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see some of you guys next year. Wish you the best. Yeah. Nothing more but the best. Bye.